Hello, everybody. Welcome back. The Walking Dead. It's hard for me to look at this show differently. It's not like I ever tried to see it differently when a very popular human on the show reminded me of my old girlfriend. I never liked calling her my ex-girlfriend because it always brought painful emotions to my heart. I've taught many things on my channel. Get over a breakup. I can share my personal experience. And if you're dealing with a heartbreak, a breakup, or you just want to see how The Walking Dead is connected to this, watch and perhaps you'll gain some things. I thought I had officially left this relationship in the past, but that last video on The Walking Dead brought all the memories of her back to me. When I first realized I needed to leave this relationship in the past, I realized many things with it. I'm not going to be an in-law to her family. She's not going to be an in-law to my family. We are not going to marry, raise a family, and build media projects together. I said I love her. I wrote love letters and cards to her. But she wasn't the one for me. God didn't want her and me together. Even though I thought she and I were a perfect match with all the things we had in common and the signs that I thought were leading us together. The one thing I didn't put much focus on at this point was The Walking Dead and the personal connection I had with this show. I remember when she and I were first together as film majors in college, studying together, filming videos together, planning future film careers and projects together. Soon we separated. I didn't want us to separate. But we did, and I couldn't let her go at the time. I tried to keep her off my mind by exercising and eating healthy, and I drove myself crazy on exercise. After graduation, I also started watching a show called The Walking Dead. The first two seasons of The Walking Dead were atmospheric and dramatic, and the third season was starting up, took a new direction, introduced a new human character to the show, Michonne. And I loved Michonne on the show, until I realized she reminded me of my old girlfriend. She had a few different hairstyles, but she mostly did braids. She had those fancy headbands, fancy jackets, fancy boots, fancy belts, and she had that tough chick attitude. I got back in touch with her. I told her I miss her. She told me she missed me. We started talking about a rekindling. While we were on the phone talking about getting back together, I teased The Walking Dead on her. I told her about Michonne, saying, Do you watch The Walking Dead? You know, Michonne on the show, she reminds me of you. She's just like you. You should watch this show. We should watch it together. When I gathered with her a couple times, we were back to happy conversations, planning out future film projects together. And then it turned into arguing and more heartbreak for reasons I won't share. Then I tuned into The Walking Dead again and saw super awesome Michonne slicing up walkers and showing off her charisma and attitude and I thought of my old girlfriend again. From there, it became a cycle. Happy conversating, heartbreaking arguments and insults, Michonne on The Walking Dead. Then in the break between season three and season four, I went to Comic-Con, had an awesome experience, but I didn't see The Walking Dead panel, and I was bummed out about that. Then season four of The Walking Dead started, Michonne started smiling, and when I saw Michonne smile, I thought of my old girlfriend smiling. Of course, Michonne could never replace my old girlfriend. That's what my heart was saying. When I met Chris Hardwick at WonderCon, I told him, Michonne reminds me of my girlfriend. Chris Hardwick said, that can be great and very dangerous. <laughs> With each passing Comic-Con, I had a great time meeting other stars, even other stars of The Walking Dead. But I was bummed out that I couldn't see The Walking Dead panel and meet Michonne. Meanwhile, the old girlfriend and I had more mean phone conversations without meeting up. There was a moment when I felt that she did turn around. She was sending me some nice messages again, and we had a really nice phone conversation again. But then on a different day, we had an argument, and it broke my heart again. I had taken a break from The Walking Dead during season six because it was slowing down a little bit, and I didn't want to keep getting reminders thrown my way about her. This also meant I didn't know yet that Rick and Michonne had started a relationship on the show. But I went to Comic-Con 2016, but I missed the Walking Dead panel due to not camping out with fans. Later that fall, the old girlfriend and I had a phone conversation. She said she was ready, I said I was ready, and we started talking about our preparation to get back together. As we were getting closer to the next Comic-Con, I started preparing for that too. And I decided, I've seen everything else at Comic-Con. Let's see The Walking Dead this time. Let's make The Walking Dead the only thing that matters this time at Comic-Con. So I prepared the camp out process. When Comic-Con arrived, I got in the camp out line and it all paid off. <laughs> the day of The Walking Dead panel, I got in, I got to see the panel, I got to speak 
to Dana Gurira during audience Q&A. I asked her how she would compare her acting on the show to her acting in past movie roles, and she gave a great answer. And the funny thing was, while she was answering my question, she brought up Andrew Lincoln's performance. And I looked over at Andrew Lincoln, and he sort of had this serious look at me. I just gave him a thumbs up, and then I turned back to Danai to hear the rest of her answer. I gave her a thumbs up, too. I was happy beyond belief. I told everybody, I met Michonne, I met Michonne, I texted my old girlfriend. Remember when I told you about that show, The Walking Dead? Remember when I said, Michonne reminds me of you? Today, I met the actress who plays her, Danai Gurira. She's really nice, and she's very intelligent. I watched all of season seven. First half of seven, that was tough to sit through. Second half of seven, a 360 degree turnaround. The Walking Dead was back to its best. Rick's relationship with Michonne was really the capital point of that show. When I found out that Rick and Michonne were in a relationship, I thought, gee, back in season three, there was some chemistry between Rick and Michonne that was hinted at. And now they're together, because they go on missions together and they protect each other, they help each other out and they care for each other when they each get hurt, especially in the second half of season seven. My old girlfriend and I were still discussing things, planning things out. It turned into another heated argument that broke my heart all over again. This was as we were getting closer to the next Comic-Con in 2018. I figured, let's just do Walking Dead again. It all paid off again. I asked Dana Gurira a new question about her stage playwriting, how she manages her stage plays in New York while acting on the show. And she answered that she doesn't direct plays, she has producers that she does Zoom calls with so that she can keep managing the play while working on the show. That Comic-Con panel is not available in full on YouTube. I don't know why, but the one video on YouTube that has the Comic-Con 2018 panel for The Walking Dead cuts off my conversation with Dan Gurira. That's horrible, isn't it? Gee. At least I have the memory, she has the memory, and the audience has that memory. This was also around the time when Rick Grimes announced he was leaving the show. And while I was answering my question, I looked over at Rick, and again, Rick was giving me that kind of serious look again. <laughs> Later that day at Khan, I also spoke to Sasha, because she was doing Star Trek Discovery. And I asked her a question about her screenwriting with her husband, and if she and her husband are planning future projects together, since they're both writers. And she was really happy about that. She said, yes, she and her husband are preparing new projects together and we're very happy to work together. Now that panel is viewable in full on YouTube. Look up Star Trek Discovery Comic-Con 2018. See the whole panel. You'll see my conversation with her and you'll see how enthusiastic she is when she speaks to me. Rick Grimes left the show at season nine. I took another break from watching The Walking Dead and more heartbreaking arguments with my old girlfriend led to us not talking for a while. During that time, I got ready for Comic-Con 2019. Around then, Danai Gurira announced she was leaving the show, so I made sure to see the Walking Dead panel again. This time I asked her about genre writing and if she was going to bring new genres and writing to her TV and film work. And she said she was, thanks to help from the producers on The Walking Dead. That was nice. In the months following, more heartbreaking things happened. Michonne left the show in a more respectful way to me than how Rick did. Around this time, I was also attending a church small group where the couple in charge of the small group, who were parents themselves, got to know me better and got to know about my old relationship. They encouraged me to talk to her and keep them updated on how things were going. I still stayed silent, believing I had to make her miss me and that God would just bring us to speak to each other at the right time. Soon asked myself, did I give up my sexual sin habits and start seeking God too late? that I joined this church small group too late. But then I heard from her again in some emails, and we had a brief email conversation out of that. But soon after, I received what God wanted me to receive, that she wasn't the one for me. So I sent her just a couple more emails, and then one last email where I decided, okay, this is the last email. After this, don't talk to her anymore. Don't be just friends with her, because just friends would re-invoke those painful emotions. So I sent that last email and stopped. I thanked the couple in charge of that small group for helping me, and they were happy to hear that. I made that video last week on The Walking Dead, and all those memories hit my mind again. It made me realize I still hadn't fully left this old relationship in the past. 
It's always been a hugely popular show for that matter. I've seen many movies and shows. All my friends know me as a big movie expert. But The Walking Dead always gave me this different feeling. The intense drama. The heart-stopping cliffhangers. Big battle scenes. Moments of affection. And a popular female character on the show who reminded me a lot of my old girlfriend. I used to pray to God to help us reunite. And now I thank God for showing me that she wasn't the one. I have repented for holding on for so long, and I thank God for freeing me. I feel that God called me to make this video, to release my emotions, and be free to look forward to a brighter future. My real future spouse, whoever she is, wherever she is, I pray that she's safe, and that God will bring her and me together when the time is right. As The Walking Dead nears its finale, there is a lot of speculation that Rick and Michonne will return in these final episodes. I'm certain that they will. They are great, integral humans to the show, and bringing them back would bring more power to this point in the Walking Dead timeline. But will I be able to see this show for the great show that it was without thinking of those reminders? Perhaps it will be worth it. What do you think? Will you tune into these final episodes of The Walking Dead? I should also note I'm filming this in the middle of a 36-hour fast. You ever been in so much stress that you couldn't eat? I decided to make this a fasting day so I could get ready to handle these emotions and share everything that I just shared in this video. What do you think of everything I just shared? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Like and share if you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to me for more videos. Hit the bell if you want notifications. I'm creating for you. Have a great week and a great life and always love yourself for who you are. Godspeed. As we move forward, we must never give up. For more details on my faith, check out my testimony videos and my Living Christian playlist. Or if you want to hear me talk more Walking Dead, including Comic-Con coverage, check out my Walking Dead playlist. And I've got a lot more to share on movies and life.